For more information, check out my blog, dukai.com. Follow me. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get this really simple Arab inspired eye makeup look. I feel like it's simple but bold at the same time. That's why I really like it. Um, a lot of you guys have been requesting for me to do Arab inspired makeup looks and I got so happy when you guys requested them because I love Arab makeup. I think it's so beautiful. So I thought why not start off with something a little bit more simple on the eyes and some glowing skin. I love this eye makeup look. It really Really makes a statement and makes your eyes really stand out so if you guys want to know how I got this entire makeup look then please keep watching as always I'm starting off with my Farsali Volcanic Elixir and I'm applying this onto my skin 10 minutes before I apply my makeup this keeps me hydrated all day long and allows my makeup to go on much smoother then for foundation I'm gonna be taking my Mac studio sculpt with my real techniques buffing brush and applying this all over my skin and you'll see i put on a little too much i was like oh man but we'll make it work <laughs> all product names and details will be in the description box below as well as a list of all the brushes that i'm using so if you're interested in that please check the description box below so just really buffing this foundation all over my skin for a really flawless and even complexion this foundation is really pretty, like it gives very nice coverage, it makes you look perfect pretty much, but I think my skin doesn't work well with MAC foundations because I do get tiny little bumps on my skin after I wear this foundation, but I really like the coverage and the finish of it. Then I'm going to take my concealer, I'm just going to be using one this time from NYX and I'm going to put this under my eyes and I'm really going to highlight my face pretty strong. Um, yeah, just using one, highlighting my face, and then I don't know what was on the wand, but it was so sharp, it scratched me. <laughs> so after I put that on, I'm just going to really blend this out. And at first, it's going to look like I put on way too much concealer, which I did put a little extra concealer. I'm not going to lie, but I made it work, and it's going to look like I'm super highlighted and making myself really uneven, but... Once we get the contour and all of that stuff on, it's all going to work and it's going to look really pretty. So I'm just blending this concealer out and then I'm going to go back to my foundation brush because I was like, um, this is a little too much. <laughs> I'm going to grab my foundation brush and I'm just going to buff this in and it's just going to fix the problem. It's going to take away all of that excess concealer, which I didn't want. Then I'm just going to set that in place with my Makeup Store Loose Powder and I'm just going to pack this on under my eye. I haven't used a loose powder like this in so long, so it kept flying everywhere and I kept coughing from it because it was like smoking everywhere. <laughs> So just setting my under eye in place. This is a light colored powder because I do want to look a little extra highlighted. Next, I'm going to bronze up my skin with my Revlon Skin Lights in the color bronze. It's bronze something. And I'm just really going to bronze up my skin with this. This is so pretty. It's very sheer, but it really makes an impact on your skin. When you put it on, it just gives you this really healthy luminous dewy glow that makes it look like you've been drinking lots of water and you have a super healthy skin then i'm going to go in and contour with this becca foundation sample which i've had for so long and a little goes such a long way i love this stuff i'm definitely buying the full size once this runs out i am just going to contour the tip of my nose because whenever i'm wearing strong eyes i like to have a more structured face so i am going pretty ham on the contouring not too too crazy or anything like that but I am contouring pretty strong. So I'm just going to pop this into the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, my hairline. And don't forget your jawline because you want everything to look even and seamless. And you kind of want it to blend and look natural in a sense. So popping that on with my airbrush concealer. Is it airbrush concealer? No, it's a soft blend concealer. And then I'm just blending it 
in farther with my foundation brush. For blush, I'm going to be using this Lorac Tantalizer, which just gives you the most beautiful, luminous sheen, which is exactly what I was going for. I just wanted to have healthy looking skin that just glowed and I feel like this combo does that for me. I didn't want a super strong highlight since my eyes were going to be strong so I decided to grab this Laura Mercier highlight. This is a baked highlighter. It gets shi shiny, no shiny isn't the word. It's glowy. It's not an intense shine but it gives a really natural dewy look which I really like. This is one of my favorite highlighters ever. It's really really pretty. So just popping that on wherever I normally highlight. Bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, cupid's bow, tops of the cheekbones and all over. <laughs> then I'm just going to line my lips with my MAC Strip Down Lip Liner, but I'm going to take off the foundation for my lips first. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking what I've done to my lips, so I will have an updated lip routine for you to tell you guys how I fixed the pigmentation on my lips. So stay tuned for that. Um, just lining my lips with Strip Down Lip Liner by MAC and filling them in with my one of my Holy Grail lipsticks. This is by L'Oreal and I heard it's being discontinued, which I'm so sad I stocked up on like five of them because I love it so much. So now that the face and the lips are done, I'm just gonna work on the eyes. My brows were done prior to filming and I'm just taking this shadow stick from Jordana and I'm just blending this all over my entire lid. I wanted the eyes to be very matte and very neutral because the face is so shimmery. So just blending this on and then I'm just going to set this in place with a similar colored eyeshadow. These Jordana pencils are awesome. They're inexpensive and they last all day like it did not crease on me. Then I'm just going to grab this color from my Lorac Pro 2 palette and this Sigma brush and I'm just going to pack this all over wherever I applied that Jordana and a shadow stick. This is just gonna set it in place and make it so it doesn't crease on us and just keep that in place all day long. I'm not doing too much crazy eyeshadow work on the lid as you'll see. I'm just gonna grab this color from the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm very lightly gonna dust this into my crease just for a little bit of dimension. Nothing too crazy, I'm not winging it out or anything, I'm just popping this into the crease just to give a little bit of definition because the focus will be the eyeliner. Then I'm gonna work on the eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and I'm just gonna grab my liner brush and I'm gonna start working on the eyeliner. Whenever I'm doing a intricate eyeliner, and I want the eyeliner to be the focus, I always like to start in the center of my eye. So right after I dip my brush into the product, I make sure that I line the entire eye, but I skip the inner corner and the outer corner, and then with whatever's left over on my brush, I'm going into the inner corner and I'm creating a triangle shape in the inner corner because it is Arab inspired. Then I'm gonna work on the wing afterwards. So you'll see in a second, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more product, work in the center of the eye first. Even though we have color there already, I always start in the center first when I pick up product because I don't want too much product in my wing and on my inner corner. Then I'm just gonna work on the wing and as you'll see when I look down the liner seems as if it's a straight line and that's the liner look that I was going for. I wanted to look like it was all one straight line. It's not angling up or anything. It's just following the shape of my eye just like that. So whenever you're doing an Arab inspired eyeliner where it's very thin in the inner corner and then a very elongated cat eye, you want to take your time. I have a hard time in my inner corner because I do have hair in there so the hair kind of gets stuck on the product so I can't make it super sharp. I'm so jelly of the people who can make their inner corner really sharp, like I wish I could do that, like I want to shave the eyelashes off of there. It's crazy, I know, but I won't, don't worry. <laughs> so I just worked on the inner corner and now I'm just gonna apply this gel liner onto my waterline and very light, verily, <laughs> very lightly on my lower lash line and I'm gonna connect this to the wing. I'm keeping it fairly thin. It's not super thick or anything like that. You can go as bold as you'd like, but I feel like I have really strong features, so I don't like to go super, super bold with my black liner whenever I'm doing an eye like this because it just looks crazy on me. I feel personally, maybe one day I will rock a super, super bold eye. But um, yeah, I'm just connecting that lower lash line to the top wing 
and just making sure the shape is good. Then one thing I find is really important is to set that gel eyeliner with a black eyeshadow. So I'm just grabbing the black eyeshadow from the Lorac Pro 2 palette. But first, I think I'm gonna tight line, yeah. I forgot to mention that I'm also tight lining with the gel eyeliner. Then I'm gonna go into the black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna go over wherever I put that gel eyeliner. I really like this because it really mattifies the eyeliner look and cleans it up and just makes it look really nice. I think this extra step is totally necessary. So just going wherever I applied that gel eyeliner earlier and setting that in place. And then for my lower lash line, I always like to take the powder brush that I use for my concealer just to clean up right underneath. It makes it so easy to blend and it's, it makes your life so much easier. So the eyes are done. I just did the exact same thing on the other eye. I popped on some false lashes because I was really curious to see how this would look with false lashes because the lower lash line is so heavy. I feel like you need some drama on the lid with some big, bold lashes. So I popped on some lashes. Now I'm just applying some mascara just to make my natural lashes blend with the falsies. And I know I said I'm never gonna wear false lashes again, but I really need to practice getting lashes on. <laughs> Anyways, once you apply your mascara, I'm not applying any mascara on my lower lashes. I wanna keep those bare, but you totally can if you want. But here is the entire look done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me some requests below or tag me on your pictures on Instagram and show me your recreations. I love seeing you guys on Instagram and interacting with you guys. So tag me, my hashtag is right above in the corner and yeah. Please give this video a great big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!